All right, well this has turned into an entire family affair, but really excited for this one today. Give me one, one second and I'll show you why, just one second. So this is my great grandfather's 1971, yep. 71 GMC pickup. Pickup. <laughs> it wasn't a Sierra or a Canyon. It's just a pickup. Pickup. Good old pickup. This truck used to sit out at our family's farm back when we still owned it, and I can still remember like squirrels and critters and stuff living in the glove compartment. It was so dilapidated. That that's a good word. Dilapidated. That's a fun one. Uh, and so since then, my dad and the crew at his dealership and everyone have completely redone it, top to bottom. And it's been sitting at the dealership, and we figured it's a beautiful fall day, so we're gonna get out. I'm gonna take some photos of it. It's even turning into a senior photo portrait shoot for my cousin, so who knows what this is gonna turn into, but I wanted to take this truck for a spin for a while now and get some photos of it. Finally making it happen. Yeah! <laughs> Cousin Jack, thanks for playing along, man. Oh, of course. So, funny thing is, his sister was actually supposed to model for this first, and she bailed on us, and so we said, all right, we don't need you, we're gonna turn this into a senior photo shoot for Jack. <laughs> so, uh, Jack Fowler, tennis star, Marion High School, the one and only, filled in, and don't tell her we said this, but I think it was better than if she would have done it, so. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at this stud, come on. <laughs> well, it's Grandpa's truck. Yeah. And he got up when he retired from Irving Village, and their logo was left on the truck. Gotcha. So when he retired back in the 70s, it was white, and um, you know they used it as a as a, tr a company truck, and so it was beat up already. And then uh, he had it out on his farm, and when I was, you know, before legal driving, I drove it off the road and into the fields and learned how to drive in it. Anyways, then um, sat in the barn after Grandpa passed away for a decade or more. Yep. The mice got to it. That's when us kids would go and climb in and yeah. play in it. Yep. And then uh, we uh, sent uh, the flatbed out and drag it back here to the dealership. And you know, they asked if I wanted to get it started, and they got it started. And then did I want them to redo the engine? And then how about the body? And then it was a frame off restoration from yeah. that point on. So been sitting on the showroom for the last I don't know, probably decade. Yeah. Get it out once or twice a year. Yeah. And uh, this was great. This was absolutely loved it. Your grandpa would be so proud. He'd first of all think I was nuts to spend all the money to, to restore it. it. To restore it. Yeah. But uh, the old work truck. Why the hell did you do that? <laughs> what were you thinking, pal? But anyways, no, I, lo I love it. I love that we did it. Thought I'd give you guys a quick update. We're driving around now in the old truck. Heading out to, there's an area just outside of my hometown where they usually have a reenactment of the Battle of Mississinawa of 1812. It's a beautiful wooded area, and I mean, it's picturesque right now. So I'm driving around out here finding spots. They're doing the same thing. <laughs> Little photo shoot back there. See, they know what's up. They're just finding spots out here with color still in the trees, kind of making sure I use up the last bit of light here. So hopefully I get some good shots out of it and I'll share them here. see what I'm talking about when I say picturesque. I mean, light coming through the trees, color still there, the old truck. I'll be right back. I gotta go have a moment. So just finishing up here, getting this last little bit of light. You can you can see where the sun just went down behind the trees. There. I 
hope I gave you guys a fair experience because I had a blast. But just a, a perfect day out here, and I'm so glad I got to share this with family and, and get some photos of this truck. I've been wanting to for a while, and it just couldn't have been more perfect for it. So we're going to get this girl back to the dealership. I'm going to wrap this video up here so we can get home safe. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit like down below and subscribe to the channel. It really does help. It's not just something people say. I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching, everybody. Much love. I'll catch you next time. Later.